Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Domestic semiconductors face another major test. Silicon wafer sales surge, and an $800 billion market opportunity looms. Reading the news about the semiconductor industry lately has been like a roller coaster ride. While the global semiconductor market is experiencing an enviable recovery, domestic manufacturers are living under the weight of a compulsory essay. Take Lianwei Microelectronics, a company known for its leading chip technology. They've even doubled sales of 12-inch silicon wafers, and their market share is steadily climbing. Yet, when the financial report came out, many investors were stunned, they were still losing money. With increased sales and higher-end products, how could the losses only increase? If you don't understand the underlying logic, you might mistakenly believe the semiconductor industry is a bottomless pit. First, let's talk about the overall environment. The global semiconductor market has truly taken off this year. According to the World Semiconductor Trade Statistics Association, the global market size reached $346 billion in the first half of 2025, a year-on-year -year increase of nearly 19%. Furthermore, institutions predict that the global semiconductor market is expected to exceed $700 billion next year, heading towards $800 billion. It would be a shame for domestic manufacturers not to catch up. Lion Micro's performance over the past six months is also quite interesting. Sales of 6-inch silicon wafers are approaching 10 million units, a year-on-year -year increase of nearly 40%, while 12-inch silicon wafer shipments have doubled. High-value-added products, such as automotive chips, photovoltaic control chips, and FRDs, have received very positive market feedback. If you look at shipment volumes and structural upgrades, it seems that Lian Micro is on an accelerated path. But when it comes to profits, the atmosphere changes. In the first half of 2025, the company reported a net loss of 127 million yuan, marking its second consecutive year of losses. Just after its IPO last year, it lost 260 million yuan with its gross profit margin even falling below double digits. It's like running as hard as you can, only to find sand in your shoes, making your feet heavier the harder you push. Why does this situation occur? In fact, everyone in the industry understands that the fundamental reason is the fierce price war. Although downstream demand has rebounded, Prices for most products are being suppressed, especially for silicon wafers and power chips. Although Lianwei has sold more, its unit price is much lower than before, and its revenue growth has simply not kept pace with rising costs. Furthermore, the company has been frantically expanding production in the past two years, especially for 12-inch silicon wafers and high-end chip lines. With a large amount of new equipment just coming online, depreciation and amortization costs have suddenly hit, leaving the company with a loss on the books before it has even had time to increase capacity utilization. Additionally, the side effects of inventory depreciation and interest expenses are quietly dragging down the bottom line. But then again, these short-term losses are nothing new in the semiconductor industry. Who didn't grit their teeth and expand production and compete on technology back then, only to wait until orders and production capacity stabilized before gross profit margins could slowly recover? Which of these major domestic manufacturers, Huawei, SMIC, and Yangtze Memory Technologies, hasn't followed the same path of first losses, then profits? The challenges Liang Wei faces today are, in essence, the
the inevitable pain points of China's semiconductor industries rise. Of course, Liang Wei isn't without confidence. Its integrated industrial chain layout is rare in China. What does it mean to be able to produce all of its own silicon wafers, chips, compound semiconductors, RF, and optoelectronic chips? It means it can not only compete with international giants in the high-end market, but also flexibly respond to the diverse needs of downstream customers. This is especially true for 12-inch silicon wafers. This level of product was previously largely monopolized by foreign giants. Now that domestic manufacturers can supply them in bulk is a remarkable achievement. Adding to this, in emerging high-end fields like VCSEL chips, Liang Wei is now the only domestic company capable of mass-producing two-dimensional addressable LiDAR VCSEL chips. This technological barrier is so significant that anyone will struggle to surpass it in the short term. Even more impressively, Liangwei's high-end chips are also riding the wave of technological advancements in smart cars, robotics, and new energy vehicles. New material chips like silicon carbide-based gallium nitride are resistant to high temperatures and high pressures and are needed for new energy vehicles, energy storage, autonomous driving, and satellite communications. Once companies like Lianwei Microelectronics simultaneously increase their production capacity, technology, and market share, profits will inevitably follow. Take this year's VCSEL chip sales as an example. Sales have surged more than five-fold year-on-year. This is just the beginning, and the industry's explosive growth is still to come in the next two to three years. Of course, this industry is not a guaranteed win. Expanding production creates significant financial pressure, and high depreciation will inevitably drag down profits. Pursuing high-end technology requires significant R&D investment. Once market fluctuations occur, Inventory depreciation becomes a common occurrence. This explains why Lianwei Microelectronics, despite its growing production capacity and technology, is still paying the price on its books. But ultimately, this is the nature of the semiconductor industry. If China wants to gain a foothold in the global market, it will have to withstand short-term losses. Looking at Lianwei Microelectronics loss figures, there's no need to worry. What's truly worth watching is whether it can ramp up 12-inch silicon wafer production capacity and truly expand and strengthen high-threshold products like VCSEL chips and compound semiconductors. Once these breakthroughs reach mass production, the industry's turning point won't be far away. For the next six months, or even one to two years, everyone is watching three key issues. First, whether 12-inch silicon wafers can be stably mass-produced, matching international yield and scale. Second, whether shipments of new high-value-added products, such as vexels and automotive-grade chips, can experience explosive growth. And third, whether the cost pressures and depreciation associated with production expansion can be absorbed. If these issues can be gradually resolved, it's only a matter of time before Lianwei Microelectronics returns to profitability. Furthermore, from an industry-wide perspective, such pain and transformation are necessary. The true key to success in the domestic semiconductor industry lies not in short-term profit reports, but in technological reserves and market dominance. So, stop worrying about first-quarter losses and second-quarter gross profits. If China's semiconductor industry wants to gain a firm foothold, it must withstand the current test. Whether companies like Lianwei can survive this crisis is not only a matter of their own destiny, but also a litmus test for whether Chinese manufacturing can challenge the global market.
It will depend on who can weather the downturn, and when the market springs, we will know who the true trendsetters are.